2009 Women's World Junior Championships here in the Gold Coast. As they head into the water, it'll be one time 750 meters. The water just above no wetsuits. A few of these athletes, I think, would have enjoyed it, but certainly these first two women out, incredible swimmers. Tessa Adams and Karina Brechter from Germany heading off. They'll have just a small gap before the chase group of women coming out, including Alicia Hooper. And off they go onto the bike. About 10 or 11 women, Emma Jackson, into that bunch as well. And as you can see coming through, we've got athletes from over 22 countries at the World Junior Championships. Absolutely beautiful conditions, 25 degrees in the air. And as these women trace on the course that Emma Moffat will be racing on later on today, they have the first of the opportunities to test the course. It's Germany and New Zealand right now with a small gap of about 15 seconds, four laps, five kilometers each for a total of 20 kilometers. And back into the main chase group right there, Emma Jackson, one of the women that is favored to be on the podium. About 14 or 15 women now coming down. And as we look back to our leaders, I think it's only a matter of time as they are starting to lose time to the chase pack. An incredible weekend of racing, almost 5,000 age group athletes, but all eyes on the draft legal racing going on right now. And as we look at our leaders, they're just, I think, about to be caught back up. The Croatian athlete right here doing a tremendous amount of the work in the junior event. And as our ladies come back towards the transition zone, it's now just a matter of time, I think, before Adams will be caught back up. You can see there the gap time. They've lost 10 to 15 seconds over the last couple of kilometers, and it's now just a matter of time. We're going to have about 16 or 17 women together coming into the transition zone. Jennifer Howard from the United States riding very well. And as they come back towards the transition, we're now going to have to start to question who has the fastest of the running legs. Emmy Sherian from France, a double European champion, certainly one of the athletes now who will be in one of the best positions. With 17 athletes off the bike, they'll go out now two loops for a total of five kilometers. The conditions just about absolutely perfect as they head out onto the run. Alicia Hooper from Canada, Kyla Coates from Canada heading off right there, one, two. But we've got a dozen women very close and very quickly now, the talented European champion heading into the lead. Emmy Sherian, who has never been top 10 at the World Championships, trying to go after her first medal. Just behind her, Emma Jackson, the woman who was fifth in Vancouver and seventh at the Youth Games, trying now to track down Sherian, who is absolutely tearing up the field. She's on a 1630 pace. And the young Australian will certainly have a huge crowd to support her on. The Australian juniors having done incredibly well over the last 20 years. A big, beautiful smile as she comes now back towards the finishing line. The junior championships always the development place for athletes who go on to international stardom. And Emmy Sherian, another one of those athletes who is going to be able to enjoy a world title as she crossed the line from France. Can't believe it. Here comes Emma Jackson. The crowd will certainly save the biggest applause for her. The silver medalist up from her fifth place finished at the 2008 championships. And the young athlete from the Netherlands, Rachel Klammer, will cross the line here with the bronze. What an incredible run for the young athlete from the Netherlands. There they are, gold, silver, and bronze. But Sherian from France will claim the gold.